When the crowd realized what had happened, that Jesus had fed them miraculously, they were amazed. They said, this indeed is the prophet who is to come into the world. So remember this, and we'll get to it in our Torah uh, reading plan by the end of the year. But they weren't saying that Jesus was a prophet. They were realizing that he was the prophet that Moses would pro had prophesied about in Deuteronomy chapter 18. They were understanding and realizing for the first time that Jesus was the Messiah. It says that they were so excited, they were so in the moment, they were so sure that they were about to get what they had always wanted, what they had been waiting for from Jesus. They were so in the flesh that they rallied together and they were about to come and take him by force and make him the king. But it says that Jesus, knowing this, knowing that it was not their time, but also knowing that their thoughts and their actions were more out of their flesh than by the Spirit, that he withdrew by the mountain to the mountain by himself and sent his apostles across the sea by boat. I think this shows us something important. It shows us that we can know things that are true, but still not know the truth. It shows us that we can be aware of facts in the flesh, but not quicken to believe, understand, or obey by the Spirit. Discernment is not simply knowledge. Discernment is submission. Knowing Jesus' identity was not enough. They had to submit to what Jesus said and what Jesus would do. The flesh puffs up with knowledge, but the Spirit always leads into humility. Have you noticed in Scripture that every time the Spirit of God came upon someone, humility became a new part of their character? That they walked in humility? They acted in humility? That they no longer lorded their authority over others, but instead they laid down and served others? They were willing to come alongside others? Knowledge makes us believe we know. The Spirit makes us believe God is enough. And we can trust Him. 